Hello friends, today's topic is about regulation of heme synthesis. So already we have discussed how heme is synthesized in our body. So heme is needed for the hemoglobin, myoglobin as well as cytochrome P450. So how exactly heme is regulated in our body that we will learn. But before that we will quick review how exactly heme is synthesized in our body. So for the heme synthesis you have to remember two compartments. So it is not occurring only in cytoplasm or only in the mitochondria. So some of the reaction of heme synthesis that is occurring in mitochondria and some of them are the cytoplasm. So here quick revision is there so you can recall whole heme synthesis first reaction of this heme synthesis that is with the help of ALA synthase and this ALA synthase will act over the glycine and succine LCOA this reaction will occur in the mitochondria and finally delta ALA means delta amino levulinic acid is generated now such two molecules of delta ALA that will combine and that is forming PBG that is 4,4 bilinogen so two molecule of ALA that is combined and make PBG that is 4,4 bilinogen and for that enzyme that is ALA dehydratase is needed now further this PBG and PBG PBG is also considered a monopyrrole. Now when we are talking about him, you are knowing that it is 4-5 in ring structure and 4 pyrrole, 4 pyrrole ring are there. So PBG is monopyrrole, so we needed 4 pyrrole ring means 4 PBG molecule is needed. So such 4 molecule of PBG that will be undergo the deamination reaction. So enzyme that is PBG deaminase and that will make or separate 4 molecule of ammonia from the 4 molecule of pyrrole means 4 PBG porphobilinogen and finally HMB means hydroxymethyl bilan molecule synthesized so that is also considered sometime 3a reaction now from this hydroxymethyl bilan it is a linear tetrapyrrole structure but actually in a heme there is a cyclic ring structure is there and so from that hmb hydroxymethyl bilan particular upg3 is synthesized uroporphyrinogen 3 so pbg first that hydroxymethyl bilan and from that hydroxymethyl bilan pbg upg3 is synthesized so upg uroporphyrinogen 3 sometime from this hydroxymethyl bilan upg1 is synthesized but it is not utilized for the heme formation so already we are knowing that upg3 synthesis now from this upg3 synthesis particular carbon dioxide is removed so name of enzyme that is upg decarboxylase so that upg3 from that carbon dioxide is removed so acetyl group which is present over upg is converted to the methyl group and finally from the upg cpg means copa Proporphyrinogen 3 is generated. So these three reactions, particular uh, ALA to PBG, PBG to UPG3, and CPG3, that all are occurring in the cytoplasm. So cytoplasm to CPG, CPG3 now shifting to the mitochondria. So inside the mitochondria, what happened? This CPG3 is further converted into the PPG, means protoporphyrinogen. Now up to this, porphyrinogen are all the colorless compound. But once that PPG3 is converted into the protoporphyrin with the help of PPG oxidase enzyme, here CPG oxidase next that is PPG oxidase both are present inside the mitochondria so once it is converted into protoporphyrin they are the colored compound now from this protoporphyrin finally iron molecule is added Fe plus 2 means ferrous molecule is added and so that protoporphyrin is finally converted into the heme molecule so finally heme is generated now that heme can combine with the globin and can form the hemoglobin now he, this enzyme that is called a ferrochelatase as well as heme synthase now in this whole reaction of heme synthesis first enzyme that is ALA synthase that is the most important as well as the last enzyme that is heme synthase that is also important. Also you have to remember that ALA dehydratase so it is also controlled by the some particular molecule like lead. Now in detail how exactly heme is regulated that we will look. So basically heme synthesis predominantly occurring inside the erythroid cell. So erythroid cell they are predominantly forming heme for the formation of hemoglobin. So out of total hemo heme formation 85% is represented by this erythroid site. Further 15% is represented by the hepatic site and out of that formation inside the hepatic most of them are utilized for the formation of the cytochrome P450. So cytochrome P450 basically a heme containing molecule now this cytochrome p450 is needed inside the liver mainly for the one one of the important function of the liver that is drug metabolism as well as detoxification process so you have to remember for this detoxification and drug metabolism cytochrome p450 and that is important function of the liver and for that particular heme is needed now how exactly heme regulated so first hematin that is important molecule or which is formed from the fe plus 2 when fe plus 2 is converted to the fe plus c means ferrous to ferric form it is called hematin and that affects shifting of ALA to the cytoplasm so already we have seen that ALA is synthesized in the mitochondria and from that it is shifting to the cytoplasm but this shifting will be affected by the hematin as well as hematin will also allosterically inhibit ALA synthase so suppose a hematin level is increased in the blood in the blood or inside the cell then what happen overall ALA synthase enzyme will be 
inhibited further one more important drug that you have to remember barbiturate basically barbiturate that when it is given that is utilized for the that will induce drug metabolism and when drug metabolism is induced overall cytochrome p450 formation will be induced so for the cytochrome p450 formation overall heme formation will be induced now when it is induced but suppose person is suffering from the porphyria then that particular person will be have a precipitated attack of the porphyria suppose person is having porphyria but there is no problem but suddenly this kind of drug is given barbiturate that will induce the attack of the porphyria so that is another regulation so basically barbiturate that can induce heme formation further you have to remember for this heme synthesis lead it is frequently asked in the viva comment question as well as mcq lead that is inhibiting two enzyme that you have to remember not it is not inhibiting ala synthase commonly uh, student are making mistake that they are considered ala synthesis inhibited by lead no it is not a lead led so you can remember ALAD. ALAD had a d for the dehydratase you can remember like that lead that is for the dehydratase d for the dehydratase so lead is inhibiting ala dehydratase as well as heme synthase enzyme so basically when lead is present in the food then what happened that lead that can lead to the inhibition of heme formation and due to inhibition of heme formation overall anemia will be generated so already you have to remember so sometime it, it is uh, awkwardly question is asked lead poisoning that can lead to the anemia so one of the reason that is lead is creating anemia because it is inhibiting ala dehydratase and heme synthase enzyme and so overall heme synthesis will be deduced and that can lead to the anemia formation further high glucose concentration that prevent induction of ala synthase so overall heme formation will be reduced or decrease when there is a high glucose concentration is there and this advantage this characteristic that can be utilized one particular condition like porphyria porphyria we have already discussed when there is an uncontrolled production of porphyrin ring that can lead to the porphyria and sometimes it is creating so much problem so in that patient if there is a porphyria there is a high glucose is given or glucose powder is given so supplementation of glucose that will in prevent induction of ALS synthase means overall heme production will be decreased and that can helpful for the reduced attack means painful attack of the porphyria but that use particularly in an acute intermittent porphyria so all in detail of AIP means acute intermittent porphyria that also we will discuss but opposite what happened there is a glucose level that is helping to relieve this pain attack but when there is a starvation all over glucose concentration is decreased and that can induce porphyria so suppose person is known case of AIP so they should take care of to avoid starvation to prevent attack of the porphyria Further, overall this ALA synthase which is present in mitochondria that is called as a rate limiting enzyme or rate limiting step in the heme synthesis. Now ALA synthase you have to remember it is of a two type. So ALA synthase 1 that is present in most of the tissue and it is also predominantly found in the hepatic. So heme work as a co-repressor when there is excessive hemoglobin is there so automatically controlled to reduce formation of heme. So when sufficient heme is present so it will inhibit further formation of the heme from with the, by the suppressing of the hepatic ALA synthase but ALA synthase 2 which is called erythroid type of the ALA synthase it is neither in the control and the feedback control or it is not under the control of the drug so you have to keep in mind that sometime it is asked this type of question very specific question can be asked which one is not under control and which one is under control so you have to remember ALA synthase 1 which is present in all tissue that is under control of this repression mechanism while ALA synthase 2 that is hip erythroid type variety of the ALA synthase which is not under control of that feedback inhibition or neither in the control of drugs now sometimes that INH that is indirectly affecting the, the same synthesis INH that is called work as a competitive inhibitor of the particular vitamin B6 vitamin B6 that is pyridoxal phosphate and pyridoxal phosphate that is one of the important coenzyme of the ALA synthase so if INH is given pyridoxal phosphate level will decrease and so overall ALA synthase activity will be decreased and that can also lead to the anemia so INH that is also affecting that heme synthesis so in general you have to remember site liver and erythroid liver that is just 15 percent erythroid that is a 85 percent ALS synthase rate limiting step ALS synthase one that is present 
present in all tissue particularly in the hepatic la synthesis 2 that is erythroid variety further you can remember that it is particularly found in a fetal liver as well as uh, adult bone marrow so it is neither under control of the drug or feedback inhibition but barbiturate that induce the heme synthesis that can lead to the precipitate attack of acute intermittent porphyria hematin that is also inhibit this ala synthase lead that is inhibiting ala dehydratase d for the dehydratase and heme synthase that can lead to the anemia glucose helpful to prevent uh, prevent attack of the aip as well as inh so all these are the summary of this how exactly heme is regulated in our body so quick summary of that heme synthesis as well as its regulation glycine plus succin l coa is converted to ala ala is converted ala form inside the mitochondria is further converted into the PBG, porphobilinogen, porphobilinogen to formation into the HMB that is hydroxymethylbilin that is linear pyrrol ring structure, linear uh, tetrapyrrol means uh, a, in a line there is a four pyrrol, pyrrol molecule is there. This HMB is finally converted into the cyclic ring structure that is uroporphyrinogen 3, UPG3 is now finally converted into the CPG that is coproporphyrinogen. This coproporphyrinogen will enter in the cytoplasm to the mitochondria. So this coproporphyrinogen is converted into protoporphyrinogen. Now up to this porphyrinogen they are the colorless but once it is converted into the when it is methy particular methylin group that is CH2 now it is converted to methenyl that is CH group so it is called protoporphyrin protoporphyrin they are the colorful compound over this protoporphyrin heme molecule is added and finally that heme is synthesized now you have to remember ALA dehydratase and heme synthase both are inhibited by the lead and this compartment that is also helping to control this heme synthesis regulation so that's all about the how exactly heme synthesis is regulated in our body